Howdy guys, I'm back with more Mass Effect Andromeda. Today I'm going to do Korra's loyalty mission. I need to search the Valet system for the Arc Lucinia, which I'm guessing is going to be this anomaly over here. Go away. This uh, is Korra's nav point? Alright, yes it is. Do you wish to embark on the mission? Let's go ahead and do it, yes. All right, I'm going to bring Cora and, hmm, should I bring Drac? I think I should bring, I think since we're doing, we're dealing with Asari here, I think I gotta bring PB for this one. Um, let's see, that's fine. That's probably fine. I actually got a new weapon from an Apex mission. I kind of want to try it out. I'm not sure if I should. I don't know. I really like the Sidewinder. Ooh, I'll just keep what I have for now. All right, let's go ahead and roll on out. We're approaching the nav points Cora found. Something's there. It might be an arc, but the damn scourge isn't helping. Sam, help out with the sensors. Hard to believe the Lucinia could survive in all this. Let's be positive. Tactical analysis. Oh, I know she loves to give me the tactical analysis, so let's hear it. Why would the Asari Ark be here? Might be lost, or looking for something. Sarissa will have plans for those decimation hunters. Wrote the manual on crisis situations. The commando you mentioned. You still believe she'll save the day? Sarissa was a legend even before she was the Pathfinder's bodyguard. She'll have a plan. Aha! Detecting an initiative vessel. Ooh. Oh, it's got lights and stuff on. Reading life signs. Sweet. And minimal power. Multiple hull breaches. She's a wreck. Hmm. You know, when I was entering the valet system, they were saying that it was, like, unusually quiet in this system. Even the scourge wasn't as active here. I wonder if if that's a coincidence. Hmm. This is bad, but she's intact. She is intact and we found her. This it's bad, but it's it's not that bad, maybe. I mean she's intact. Let's think positive. <laughs> if she's spaceworthy and her crew's alive, that's all we need. Callow, take us in. I'll try. Must be one docking bay still holding together. Oh, this is cool. I'm actually pretty excited to do um, some more stuff with Korra. She's actually strangely growing on me. I didn't think it would happen. The the whole Asari Huntress thing. You know, it's obnoxious, but she really is growing on me. Ooh, minimal power indeed. It's super dark and creepy. We're aboard. Any response to comms? Nothing. Maybe their sensors are busted. That... Well, why would they keep these lights on if they're running minimal power to, to the point that they don't even have their sensors on? Oh gosh, there's there's blood in here. I'm not really sure if there's anything to... doesn't seem like there's really anything to scan. So were they trying to save people that got hurt? Okay, got some... What a mess. No one sweeps up for guests anymore. I know, right? Hmm, so it looks like there's some sirens. Hello? Anyone? We're here to help! Great. Just advertise where we are. <laughs> That's the point, PB. <laughs> I, I, I like these two. Plus, these two have a pretty fun dynamic, so I, I like bringing them together, too. But, but yeah, it looks like some warnings were going off. Those look like siren lights. Hmm. It's locked down. No, no good? No, it's out of power. Well, I'm guessing it's not not many people can get over all this mess, you know? There's so much stuff in the way, clearly. Ah, jeez. Okay, so... Beginning decompression! Die, you cat monsters! Oh, we're not cat! We're a Pathfinder team! Ryder, Lieutenant Harper, and... Sam, just send her our ident codes. Confirmed. Sorry. <laughs> I'm Captain Atondra, of what's left of the Lucinia. Come up to the bridge. 
Maybe you can help fix this mess. All right, so they're alive, and boy, she changed her tune real fast. She went from die, you cat, to oh, hey, how you doing? Come on up, we Someone's got tea. Someone's jumpy. <laughs> yeah. If you will, can you blame them? All right, so if you're running out of power, you can probably go ahead and turn the advertisement on. You're going to wish you had that little bit of juice someday that you're sitting here wasting. Oh, this is crazy. I can't believe that there's the atrium new location discovered. It's actually decently... This area saw combat action. No bodies, though. It did? Whatever happened left the captain a little trigger happy. Hmm. If the Tempest looked like this, how would you feel? Good point. So they can't invade it? I guess they invaded, and that... I, Maybe that's why they're staying powered down in a quiet sector, trying to stay hidden from the cat? I don't know. Let's see what this says. Status report. Lucinia. Power distribution efficiency 9%. Drive core offline. So they can't move if the drive core is offline, right? Life support function 83%. So they can keep people alive, but they're just drifting aimlessly, which... You know, what's the point in having life support if you can't go anywhere? You're just waiting to die, basically. Critical damage report on the deck in several compartments and maintenance in several parts of the hole. Like Cora said, the place is a wreck, and I have a feeling Cora's going to just be really disappointed in some news that we're about to find out. I feel like this is all being set up for some really bad news, you know? I feel like Cora's about to hear something she doesn't want to hear when we get through here. Or, well, me for that matter. I like these. Sorry. I'm glad to see them intact. But, yeah, they've got all these, um, these areas of cover right here. Might be a shootout on the way but out. But you'd vent a Pathfinder team into space? Respectfully, yes. We can't take any more chances. <clears throat> <laughs> Sarissa Theris, Pathfinder. Don't mind the captain. Scolding me eases her blood pressure. Ha oh, ha ha. Alright, so Sarissa, uh, yeah, Cora's your biggest fan. Pathfinder, not bodyguard. Yeah, Sar uh, Sarissa's got some pretty cool markings on her face. By the way, Cora's got posters of you all over her room. Cora here thought the famous Sarissa would have everything in hand. Uh, uh -oh. I thought Matriarch Ashara was Pathfinder, ma'am. And you were her bodyguard, like her Tiamna. I served with Asari Commandos, ma'am. Memorized all your battle manuals. Matriarch Ashara is dead. Sarissa was next in line. Her battle manuals haven't kept the cat off my arc. Ooh. Well, I... I... I felt like Korra wasn't gonna have a good time here. She very much has this kind of... A sorry worship. You know, I just realized just now Cora is almost like Liara was in the first three games. Uh, Liara was, you know, she seemed like she over romanticized the Protheans, and then when Liara got to interact with a Prothean, it was, you know, a whole different story. I feel like it's almost like that Cora romanticizes the Asari, but, you know, the difference is, you know, the Protheans were mostly extinct in the Asari. Well, not so much, but I feel like uh, Korra kind of romanticizes them a bit too much, and she's about to get really... I feel like they're kind of dismissing her. She's got that little bit of awkward worship about them, though. Well, not really worship, but like, you know, fangirl kind of worship. Okay, okay, we're here to save you. Give me the facts. Alright, um, I don't want to... We're here to save you. Yeah, sure, let's be heroes. I, I didn't want to say that, but yeah, let's go with Cheesy. I'm with Korra, after all. That ends today. We'll see your arc safely back to the Nexus. I hope so. We've tried everything else. Matriarch Ishara died trying to negotiate with those Ket bastards. Oh, no. So I took something precious from them, too. I stole a module containing tactical data, all their secret routes through this phenomenon. No way. We call it the Scourge, ma'am. If we could outmaneuver the Ket through it... We'd stand a better chance against them. Mm -hmm. Their Archon had the same thought. He sent his elite agent, the Valiant, and his decimation hunters after us. We take more damage each time we escape the Valiant. The last assault? 
He sent forces to board us. Sarissa's theft has made things problematic. Oh man, so they they there are Ket on board stealing the data pad was stupid. She did her job. Okay, so the there it sounds like there's Ket on board then. Is that actually the case? There are Ket on board? How many borders are we talking about? We're not sure, but for now they're contained down there. We couldn't do more. We spent our resources evacuating civilians. The Valiant wants Sarissa to pay. Yeah, so that's... I'm guessing they're not going to let up because, you know, knowledge... Once you have knowledge, you can't really... You can't really take it back. The best you can do is, you know, destroy it. So I think they're not going to stop until they destroy the entire Ark. Stealing the data was stupid. Oh no, not at all. Anything... Anything to get an edge over the cat, especially if they lost a matriarch. That's a very, very, very high cost to pay. She did her job. Pathfinders have to take risks, Captain. I'm taking my share. Goddess, preserve me. <laughs> what would it take to get the Ark out of here before this Valiant catches up again? An FTL burn long enough to lose him. But since the evacuation, we've been stuck at minimal power. The drive core is dead. Mm -hmm. My people are investigating, but those systems are below deck, with the Ket borders. Great, of course. Another Pathfinder team could back them up. Get power for the drive core, and my Sam and I will finish deciphering the Ket data. We'll turn the Valiant's escape routes against him. <laughs> First rule, always know your escape plan. <laughs> the last commando report came from hangar control. I'll give you access. Please be careful. Okay, well, hmm, I thought they were going to be a bit more, um, kind of unpleasant to Korra, but they seem like they're just eager to get this problem solved. I mean, they don't really have- You okay, Korra? Oh. Pathfinders take risks. They really do. Matriarch Ashara, your father, we roll the dice and- Hey, sometimes we win. Come on, the sooner we find those commandos, the better. Aw, oh, poor Cora. Well, I guess we still don't really know how the rest of the Asari are doing, so even if we see a couple, I mean, they did say they evacuated, and I mean, maybe for the most part. I feel like the most part, for the most part, the Asari are probably- Was it this quiet when the Arcs were traveling through dark space? Quieter. They weren't busted up back then. God. The Lucinia will be back to normal once we get her to the Nexus. That's so creepy to think about. It just- this is just drifting through space for hundreds of years silently. Ooh, creepy. Hangar control maintenance log. Login technician, Sadia. Um, ergonomic adjustment installed driver update. Ergonomic adjustment requested filed for ops manager, Tafina, to learn about seat levers. Captain's request, override for hangar door uh, accesses, override of launch permissions, got a dozen escape pods launched today, launch is complete, reinstalling hangar door accesses, investigate repeated false alarms from hangar doors after reinstall, not a false alarm, seal all doors, seal all do oh my gosh, they, it's candle jacked or whatever, they didn't- Someone overrode the hangar doors then try to seal them in a hurry? Indecisive, hmm? Hmm. Seems more like mind control type stuff to me. Like, you know, trying to let the kid in and then... Here we are. Hangar control. Okay. Hangar control. The siren, those red sirens are still going. I know there's going to be a, a kid that's going to jump out at me. I'm just... just hey, look. For it. We might have a friend. Where? Must be part of Sarissa's team. Oh, an uh, actual friend, not an unpleasant friend. Oh, there is actually a friend. Vidaria, hi. Stop! In the name of the goddess, I'll... Shoot your rescuers. Rescuers? And humans? Your Ark made it? Just about. I'm Ryder, the human pathfinder. This is my team. I'm Vidaria Damali, Sarissa's new second-in-command. Sorry about the mix-up. I hope I can help. Oh gosh, if you're the second in command, these people are all screwed because you turned around and kept 
saw that we weren't Kit and kept talking. I'd stop her. I'll shoot. Basically, it's like, if you thought we were Kit, you should have just turned around and shot because that's probably the best way you're going to survive against the Kit. You just tried to talk it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You see, hey, you seem like a rookie. The Ark needs fa I was, I actually didn't even look at that before I went on my rant. You seem like a rookie. <laughs> just how long have you been second in command? About a week. Oh. It feels like less. Yikes. Sarissa wouldn't choose you if you weren't up to this. Can you help get main power back for FTL? Right. Yes. I've tracked the power drain, and I think shutting the hangar bay doors will fix it. The cat forced the doors open, and the safeties are draining power trying to shut them. Oh, okay. Sam can help us heat there. Why jam them open? Hmm. Well, yeah, why jam them open? Why keep the hangar bays open? There's no ships around. I think the Ket are trying to reach the bridge. Ket can survive in vacuum for a little while. Oh. If we shut the doors, the Valiant's pet hunters lose their last escape route too. I pray the power will be enough for FTL. I just... Vidaria, I served as a huntress. Remember Sarissa's manuals. Breathe, purpose, action. Breathe. <sighs> okay. Please take a look at the console. I'll keep watch. Ooh, I like where this is going. Like, uh, Cora's kind of teaching the Asari how to Asari. I thought she was just going to be awkward and cringy the whole time. Okay, okay. So activate this. All right. Starting hangar door closure sequence. All right, I can handle this. Oh, Kent! I'll get it. Oh, yep. We've course. got this. Cover the console while Sam works. All right. Nice steady fire. Yes, ma'am. Ooh, yeah, here they- oh, yep, here they come rolling out. Ooh, gosh, I gotta- alright, this is- I am bad. <laughs> alright, let's go ahead and- you know, I think I might want to switch to this one. I'm, I'm feeling this one today. Let's- yeah, let's switch to that. On one. There we go, that helps me a lot. I can actually kind of see where they are. Panadol the closure at 21%. Oh, that's pretty fast. I can't- Wait, am I, am I, I'm not even hitting this guy. Nope, I'm not. Not even hitting him. Not even close. Here, I'll get this guy right here. There we go. Easy enough. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm still terrible. Oh, there's a wraith right here. Why don't I do something about that? Alright. See, I need to switch to... Here we go. Oh, well, that was a waste of my time. Here we go. And anointed here. I need to use my... There we go. Ooh, a biotic combo. Hangar door closure at 53%. I wasn't even trying... Oh my gosh, this guy's just hauling booty around here. Let me switch to this. Alright. Yeah, you get him. Yeah. yeah. Oh, whoops, there's someone behind me. There we go. Alright, let me switch to this. I like this one. Oh, I'm just shooting a body. Alright. Um... Oh, there's still some stuff over here. Hangar door closure at 77%. I like this uh, character combination too. I actually really like Cora as a uh, oh, as a squad mate. She just seems pretty really, like decently strong, really. I don't know why. She just seems to be like like a really decent character, and she just seems to. Oops, I'm just shooting at a box. I think um, she just seems to work really well with PB too. It just seems like when I have. Hangar doors are closed and locked. Nice. Cat access is cut off. All right, that was easy enough. But yeah, it seems like Cora and PB seem like they really work well together. Alright, is it hammer time? Oh, nope, not quite hammer time yet. Alright, let me switch to not that one. No, oh, here we go. Oh. Okay. Did we get them all? No, oh, oh, there's someone right in front of me, dummy. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Combo. Oh my gosh, combos blow things up so fast. Okay, that should have done it. Wow. So where's our damn power for FTL? Vidaria? Let's ask her. All right, whoa. What was that? What was that? <laughs> I estimate that several of the Ark's electrical junctions just overloaded. Shit. Vidaria? That's bad, right? Oh, geez, that's probably bad. That's most bad. Vidaria, definitely. Sam says we lost some electrical junctions. I know. The overload started a fire. Damn it, that shouldn't have happened. Be calm, soldier. What could have made him overload? If... If there's something else draining power on the lower decks, as something big. Like all these sirens? <laughs> Let's focus on fixing things. Could be kit sabotage. Well, even if it if it is or isn't sabotage, there, it doesn't matter. We, we gotta focus on fixing this. Let's focus. Focus. Theories can wait, people. Let's secure the Ark first. That might be complicated. Those kit, 
They must be watching us. If they delay the repairs long enough, the Valiant ship catches up. Hmm. Let's see. Any way to distract them? Then let's be fast. Um, if, hmm, yeah, I guess let's be fast then because I don't, well, we do have the Tempest, but I'm not really sure how much of a, that's not really a distraction. It'd probably as much as it would be like a fly swarming around it. Um, yeah, let's be fast then. <laughs> if we're quick and efficient, we can outmaneuver them. Okay. First thing is the last stasis pods. I'll go check on them. You could go below, look for whatever's draining power, and maybe help with the fire. Help. Which way to the lower decks? Uh, the living quarters. I'll open maintenance access. You can cut through. Good luck. May the cat wither in the void before you. Wither. <laughs> so how am I supposed to deal with the fires? Am I gonna get, like, a, a bucket of water or something? Like, what is it? <laughs> okay, so go below decks. Okay, I can handle Ryder, this. Ryder, it's Sarissa. We got some power, then a damage report. What happened? An accident. We're fixing it. All right. Go forward. We'll keep prepping the drive core. We won't let you down, ma'am. Of course not, Lieutenant. Sirissa out. Oh, well, that was the plan. Oh, gosh. I definitely hear some, like, hero worship coming from Korra. You know, it's uh, it's really cool, though. I she Korra, she really is growing on me because it's cool to see a female character. Ugh, it's pitch black down here. Oh, it sure is. Watch your step. I'm expecting Ked anywhere. It's really cool to see a female character being kind of awkward and stuff, you know? Um, oh, just some debris. You know, female characters are usually like, you know, love interests, sex symbols. They're very rarely, like, awkward. And Korra's kind of awkward. Alright, broken door. Um, hydraulics punctured. Requires heavy maintenance. Oh, so I'm not going to be able to walk through this. I can't just push. I can't just shoot it, can I? No, no. no. Alright, so there were, was debris over here. I'm feeling, can I, can I actually like smash through this or something? <laughs> I don't think that's how this, I don't think this game works like that, does it? No, no, I don't think so. Gotta find another way around. I feel like having the gun out helps with visibility. Here we go. But, um, yeah, Cora just, you know, she's not only awkward, but, you know, sometimes, but, because she, she, you What's see this? the fangirling. The nameplate says Matriarch Ishara, the Pathfinder who died. Oh. Whoa. What the heck? Did you know Matriarch Ishara? Only by reputation. She was a diplomat, very wise and respected, and the cat took her away. Ugh. <sighs> It must be eating Sarissa up inside. Wow. I like the memorial they made for her here. Omnigel. Yeah, all the screens in here are just off. It seems like maybe we should turn some of these off. Oh, oh just a first aid station. <laughs> maybe I should have read it though. Um, it does not appear on the Lucinia's blueprints. It appears to have been set up by the Asari set up in this room from scavenged materials. That's the Asari for you. But, uh, yeah, you know, Cora, she's a little bit awkward, but she's kind of got this, you know, she, she feels like this is her time to, you know, stand up and, you know, try to be the Asari commando. Siri here. I'm almost at the stasis pods. Ah, blast it. No power for elevators. Vidaria, cut the elevator's mag locks. If the arc's like ours, you can climb down the shaft. Good idea. Thanks, ma'am. Yeah, see, uh, it's cool seeing her just really take control of a situation. It's like, Cora would have been a better Pathfinder, man. <laughs> okay, color fun for all ages. This holographic coloring book is, a, is set to a simple image of a farm. Someone has scribbled in colors and drawn Thessian animals. Scrawls on one side read, My farm. Plant seeds. Watering can. Feed them lots of hay. Mummy says we have to go on a ship again. Again. Mummy says I have to be brave. I don't want to be brave. I want to be a farmer. <laughs> a farmer. Alright. Okay. Um, re re child care rotation from um, Th Thanimus Tijotra to Arc Lucinia Emergency Child Care. Forward to anyone not on the main list. 
Uh, Bellas, I can take the twins and Mohia tonight. We're camped by the emergency lighting, so Mohia will have her night light. Jodri, because the Tikests and Zahli got called for evac early, there's leftover cleanup supplies and food in the red cooler. Remember, if you need diaper bags, there's sterile cleanup bags in the washroom cabinets. Break the locks if you have to. Day 10, still going strong. Thana. Oh gosh, so here's the horrors of what they're actually dealing with. You've even got children. Oh man, goodbyes from Rodera to everyone. Making the big jump soon. Leaving all my love and best wishes. Go ahead and share out my stasis locker. Can't take it, can't worry about it. We'll find help, promise. Rodera the big jump? The big jump where? Do I want to know? I don't think I do. Um, oh, whoops, I already read that, right? Okay, container. Um, more, lots of Omni gel in here. Okay, another one of these big monitors. and They really pack people in. Yeah. A I... lot of us are, I think, communal living is cozy. You're not one of them? Hell no. Give me personal space. And stuff space. <laughs> stuff space. I definitely feel you on the stuff Stasis space. Stasis locker. Everything some colonist wanted to bring from home. Q. Sirenus. Uh, inventory recovered. Kithara and spare things. 15 packets of Parnitha's Blessing. Chocolate flavored snacks. Five books. Handwritten various. One adult winter wardrobe. One uh, set of ice fishing gear. Personal possessions recently removed from Stasis. Oh my gosh, and all these mattresses right next to people on the floor. Gosh, can you imagine if you needed to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night? Friggin' you'd trip over nine people just trying to walk over there. Alright, um, let's see. Which way was I going? I think, was I going this way? I'm getting turned around because I keep, I know I need to get over here. There we go. This looks new. Let's see, is this new? So many people crammed in. Waiting, hearing the emergency alarms. The cat did that to them. Scary. What is this? A weapon storage. Just a car model. Oh gosh. Auto clean unused for 83 days. Sign out records show multiple weapons have not or have been removed and not returned. Notices have been filed with Arglucinia authorities. Well, they were fighting Ket and didn't make it, obviously, right? Okay, let's see what's on this terminal. What's happening to Arc Lucinia from Sarissa? You're out of stasis because you were needed on deck early. Unfortunately, you now need to adapt to a very different scenario than was expected. To avoid rumors spreading, this is the situation. We are under attack by a hostile species. Diplomatic overtures were rejected and will not be repeated. Regrettably, our matriarch Ishara died attempting negotiations. I have reluctantly taken on her role as Pathfinder, but cannot replace her. So, I, I, how did she die during negotiations? Did they... I mean, after knowing what the cat actually do to people, did they just turn her? Did they actually kill her, or is she a cat? Or is she a cat now? Because um, a matriarch would be very hard to kill and very powerful. So it, it this this seems strange that she just died during negotiations. But okay, let's say let's take it at face value. The matriarch is dead. We must deviate from our intended course and attempt to lose the enemy before our rendezvous with the Nexus. With Captain uh, Atandra's approval, I've authorized a general evacuation order as we revive civilians. Meanwhile, commando forces and our survey ship, the Parafona, will perform necessary diversionary actions. I will not understate the seriousness of our position. I won't underestimate your skills either. I have faith in you, S. Ferris Pathfinder. Okay, so I think that I, I definitely have a little bit of hero worship for for uh, Sarissa now too, because that that's pretty cool for her to just send out information and just be like, "This is the situation, guys." 
you know, wouldn't life be easier if every time there is an emergency, someone just, this is what's going on, instead of letting rumors take over. It's like, before anyone ever sends out an official notice, it's been like three weeks, and there's been, you know, a million rumors festering. Right, response regrets from Saren to Rhea. For the first time, I'm not shutting up. I went to sleep dreaming of new worlds and woke to fire and screaming and people huddled in dormitories and they won't let us back into stasis. We're supposed to just crash land on a barren planet in some teeny escape pod like that's going to be better? I want what was promised, what I gave them my money and my life for, and I'm not going to stop trying to get answers. Oh gosh. Someone that thinks that this is, this is a, t can I talk to you? No, you can't talk to your, our manager about this one. Your, your money and the your- The cat brought their pets. Uh oh. Oh, I thought that, that meant I was gonna have- Oh, God, I, I actually jumped out of my- I actually- Okay, 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 I'm panicking, I'm panicking. This is me panicking. I actually jumped- I really hope these things got aboard after the children left. <sighs> I actually jumped out of my screen because I'm like, what pets? I don't see anything. Then I put my gun up and they ruined there. <laughs> Creepy. I didn't need that in my life. Not today. I didn't need that. Are there gonna be more? Oh gosh, is there... Alright, forget this. No, I'm not even going down there. It's too dark and scary. I'm just going in here. I feel like there's... Okay, I feel like there's going to be more... Fideria again. Two cat were trying to mess with the stasis pods. Not anymore. Good work. Remember Sarissa's manuals. Stay low. I will. The pods are safe. I'll keep tracking that power drain. Yeah, so it's like Cora Cora's a pretty much a badass here. She's really talking this this newbie uh through the situation and that helps so much. Like when you're in a rough situation, having someone just talk you through it makes all the freaking difference. Looks bad. Why isn't the fire suppression system engaged? Either insufficient power or the explosion damaged fire control. We could fix that if we find the controls. Hmm. And then reach whatever's draining power without getting singed. Hmm. <sighs> Alright, so I guess I'm gonna have to do some jumping over the fire then. So oh gosh. Um I It's Fideria. The cat saw me. Oh, I no. am trapped in an air vent. Oh no. Ready your biotics and pick them off as they pass. But they'll hear. You're a huntress, a silent predator. Okay. Going silent. Oh gosh. Oh, she's probably boned. Newbie versus uh, Ket. It feels like there would just be absolutely tons of smoke in here and we would all be suffocating, doesn't it? I mean, I don't really know a lot about fire in outer space, but <laughs> on spaceships, I mean. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, let's uh. Bolstering all shields! Alright, so here's a piece close and close and this guy. Hey. Hey, little guy, you gonna come over here? Oh, he's. he's, he's, he's there we go. Alright, uh, Overload on this destiny bit. I love this. Watch weapon. out overhead! Overhead? Oh. I thought it was way further ahead. Alright, got that guy. Alright. Is that it? No, there's two more. Alright, here we go. Oh gosh, everyone's exploded him. Light them up! Oh, here's another one of these guys. Oh my gosh, exploded. Just absolutely exploded. I think the cat were after the fire suppression controls. Over there. All right, let's take a quick look around. Hold your jelly roll. Oh, power junction. Get the fire controls, and we can get this out. Okay, this looks like something I'm gonna have to do something with. So let me go over here and do what Cora says. Let right, me take that and fire suppression system. Hit it. Oh, it takes a minute. <laughs> ah. Of course. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Ironic. The electrical junction is damaged. I recommend searching for an alternative. I knew that was going to happen because that's basically what I, would, I saw already. Alright, Lucinia Fire Suppression Unit uh, requires immediate service. Can't <laughs> see a way to fix it. Any luck, Ryder? 
insufficient power. The fire, fire suppression control is, it must be rerouted. Looks like it's over there where the big giant star is. I don't know. Can someone hold my hand a bit harder? I can't quite find it. <laughs> Whatever this powers, the Ark needs fire control more. There. Let's try again. All right. <laughs> Well, I'd rather do this than pretty much any vault. Mineral power is oh. rerouted. You may now trigger fire suppression. All right. I'm going to get shocked again. Nope. That should cool us off. Videri again. I got the ket. They got me back, but I'm okay. They got you back. Nice work. And with the hangar shut, I managed to track the real power drain. Here's the nav point. I'll see you there. What? It was just that easy, really? I'm almost underwhelmed. Captain Atandra here. We're warming up the drive core, but we need more juice. We're on it, Captain. Good. The Valiant ship is still out there somewhere. We've lost so many, and Matriarch Ashara. It can't be for nothing. And it won't be. Alright, looks like there's going to be a lot of fighting based on these goody huts. Ow! Ow! What is it? It's like nails on glass! Ugh! What's like nails on glass? Are you being dramatic? I feel like she's just being... some engineer left before she could clean up her workbench. Ooh. These components were taken from arc systems, including power distribution. Huh. Explains the problems we're having. What could be worth gutting the arc? Hmm, let's see. Search pad login assistant engineer Lapirus to call deck 12 hull plating sheared. Atmosphere was vented and no time or personnel to weld. A hundred plush trapped. No suits. No time. Can't be done. Can be done. No one else dies today. I want to grab the cat by the throat and shake them. Keep dreaming, skinny. Should have been a huntress. Grab. Grab. Hold the deck plating in place. Not airtight, but enough for breathers. Solved. All right. This sounds like someone PB might have known. <laughs> What's in here? An Asari sword. Eh, sure, I want to put that on. I get a... Give my... I'm, I'm using a Krogan hammer. I think with damage is similar. Evac. To fella from Giona. Calm still down. Doing this the old-fashioned way. We cannot finish the evac with deck 12 in that condition. The last ket barrage sheared the whole plating. No atmosphere, and it's hanging by a thread. I've got a hundred people trapped on the other side and not enough suits. There's children. Thel, I can't make that call. I won't. Giona. Oh, gosh. Response. Giona Lapirus just showed up. That screwball engineer refused her evacuation seat. Says so she's got an idea. Wow. Man, that's some pretty scary stuff. Alright, security to Arc Lucinia Maintenance from Lieutenant Colonna. Headed off Arc soon to give those cat something to chase. Our gear got shot to shit in the last encounter, but old habits made me stick it all in recharge. Do me a favor and keep it away from the civvies, would ya? No sense someone coming all this way and then shooting themselves in the foot. Lieutenant K. Alright, so I'm not even... I, I don't even think there's really anything in here besides that sweet Asari sword, of course. Alright, let's go deal with the matter at hand over yonder. Whoop! Feathers jumping in this game. Alright, the observation deck. Oh. Looks like an observation deck. For observing the mess they made of the place? <laughs> People must have evacuated from the deck beyond. Gosh, this is lovely. Ryder, over here. Oh, I'm just enjoying the space though. Alright, we're, we're over where? Over yonder? Okay, there's... Oh no, that's a siren. I was about to say, is there still seriously a fire going? Alright, here she is. Oh, I know there's going to be a crazy shootout here. I can, I can tell by all the little boxes and stuff. You can just tell when they're coming. I've got a clip here. Anything I can scan? I'm going to look around before I talk to her because I feel like there's just going to be one crazy cat battle here. Gosh, this is so quiet and creepy, but so pretty. What's going on with... Alright, alright, let's go. 
Let's go talk. <laughs> Hi. Thank the goddess, you're all right. Here, this is what's draining the power. What is this thing? It looks like the cat attack sheared off some hull plating. Then someone rigged up this Mass Effect field device. The field's so strong, it holds the hull together. Oh, it would help people evacuate the deck beyond. Uh, that's what's going on over there. That's why I was like, okay. Don't know what that is. Okay, so those engineer notes, that's... That's explaining everything. Okay, genius and all the chaos explains them. <laughs> explains the headaches. Yeah, really. Yeah, uh, that's pretty genius. Whoever built this was smart. Probably saved a lot of lives. I pray she got out safe. That deck's deserted now. We have to turn the device off. I tried pulling the plug, but nothing. Can you scan it? Maybe your Sam can figure it out. Hmm, okay. So scan this been funny if the thing draining the power is like a boom box or something the device requires two people for shutdown one disconnecting the cables and another at the device itself hmm. I'll handle the device caution once begun the failsafe cycle must be completed or the device will fuse fuse okay uh, components oh I was re trying to read it um, all right all right well never again Alright, so let's see. I guess I'll start over yonder since this is right here. Alright, so. Ready, Vidaria? Disconnecting the first cable now. Cat! Yep, I knew it. Watch the device. We'll handle them! I knew but it. We need you, Vidaria. You can do this. I knew it was going to be a big old pet shootout. We can't, can't have a little one. We can't have a big old pet shootout at the end. Watch the glass. The glass? Don't bother! <laughs> We've got mad boots, they don't! We do? Alright, if you say we do. <laughs> I'm sure we do. Alright, let me switch to this one. I'm sitting here trying to clicky shoot a assault rifle. Well, that's really stupid. There we go. <laughs> They're down. Okay, next cable. Ready when you are. Alright, let me go ahead and go over here then. Let me take that and that. And what do we got here? Some more stuff. All right, just second cable. One. We're getting there. <gasps> More cat. Take them down. All right. Goddess, how many came aboard? All of them, <laughs> like they always do. All right, here's a. Oh, here's a little guy right here. I'm just gonna let him zoom in. There we go. All right, let me switch back to the one that I was. Oops, wrong way. There we go. All right, here we go. That's what I need to do. That's much better. I was like quickly shooting it. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm like out of life and health. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, nowhere to run. Here we go. <laughs> Save me. I shouldn't have been out over in the mix that that big though. Alright, let's get this guy over er, overloaded. There we go. Get him dealt with. Need to get this guy dealt with. Play this smart. There we go. Much better. Alright, oh that guy's roasted and I don't know. Alright, now the cable! <laughs> Last cable, all right. Let me grab that and that. And let's get this over here. <laughs> Working on the last cable. Got it. Another attack. They're desperate, Ryder. This must be the last of them. Oh, <laughs> gee, I would have never thought that. I can't believe that this would be the last of them. I'm oh, I'm pulling the last uh, cable. Chop out this one. Darn great things are. I always pull my mouse button in the wrong direction when I'm trying to switch my guns, so I think I need to stick to two. <laughs> there we go. Got that this is their last stand. Break through! Alright, I'm trying, I'm trying. They're everywhere. They're absolutely everywhere, though. Is there. I can't believe there's another one over there. Alright, me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I really like this, uh, this combination. This is a really good group, I think. Cora and Phoebe are where it's at, I think. The cat are down! The device can now be deactivated. It can be now be deactivated. Alright, let's go. Oop. Alright, let me just jump around here. Well, eh, nothing's probably really worth picking up. I'll just deactivate this. That noise! It's gone. No more headaches. If anyone asks, it was like that when we got here. <laughs> it's Captain Atandra. Ryder, the drive core is coming online. 
You did it. A few minutes, and we're out of here. There's a hole in your arc. I'm not relaxing yet. Okay, yeah. By the way, there's a hole in your arc. <laughs> Can we still go to FTL if there's, say, a big hull breach down here? <laughs> a really uh, big hole. The maneuver I planned should hold us together. If the FTL burn doesn't, we'll have to cope. Sarissa here. Superb work, all of you. We're almost home. What? A body just disappeared over in the left, I think. It's really over. I should go and help. There might be something I can do. Okay, you've done a good job. We'll supervise from here. Yeah, you've done a good job. You could have gotten yourself killed, but you didn't. So, congrats on living another day. You helped save this whole arc. Not bad for your first big mission. Sarissa should be proud, Vidaria. You'll be one hell of a commando. You'd know, Lieutenant. Thank you. For everything. Goddess guide you. Pathfinder. Restoring power has freed up a data cache. It includes the succession log from Matriarch Ishara. Oh. Can you access it? Forget the data. I need you. The barrier's collapsing. Ishara, they'll tear the arc apart. I... That data is the only thing that might buy us time. Cat reinforcements approaching, Pathfinder Ishara. Sarissa! My Sam can't... Tiamna, please! I have to save them, even if I can't save... Forgive me. Oh, dude. Tiamna used to mean guardian of temples, a champion who stayed faithful even when all was lost. Sarissa left her to die. Dude. That's how it went down. Sarissa screwed up and it was a necessary decision. Oh, gosh, I think... I think that... Um, it was a very, 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 very high price to pay, but I don't think it was a screw-up. I think it was necessary. I mean, the information is completely invaluable, you know, knowing all of the routes through all of this mess. It's like, there's, a, you know, there's nowhere for them to hide anymore if we can figure out the data. Or, well, if we're allowed to look at the data, if the Asari want to share it, I assume they do. It was a necessary decision. Sarissa was forced to choose between her Pathfinder and her Ark. She made the right call. Mm -hmm. Look around. Does this look like a right call? I... Damn it all, Ryder. What do I do? First, we... Should probably leave. <laughs> a Tundra here. The Cat Hunters blindsided us. They have a dropship headed for the breach on Deck 12. Oh. How long until we have FTL? Too long. Sarissa's coming to help. Push him back. Oh, sweet. Helmets on, people. Helmets on. <laughs> I always put my helmet on before I play Mass Effect Andromeda. Woo. All right, in the door we go. All right. Caution. The Mass Effect field device is still connected. Remotely triggering it may affect local gravity. Great. Could be useful. Does that mean I'm going to go bouncing through space or something? All right, uh, oh gosh. All right, they're already just wandering around. Like, ooh, it sounds weird when I shoot out here. I guess it's out in space. Oh, this is, dude, this is cool. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're so, they're everywhere. Where's Sarissa? Save me, Sarissa, save me. Can I get this guy? Oh my gosh, every time I shoot, it sounds so weird. It's really tripping me out. Oh, this is just a good old shootout right here. Oh, I need to get this guy. There we go. All right, I need to overload this guy when he comes up. This anointed here. Um, there he goes. I'm, oh, and then I missed it. I've been sitting here waiting to shoot or shoot him with the overload, and I missed it. I think. All right, I'm gonna keep. There we go. Got him. And do I have overload up We've again? I do. But I missed it again because I'm bad. <laughs> there we go. That'll work. All right, is my little... Where's my little pet thing? Is it... Keep your mag boots active! And watch the giant hole! So so I shouldn't go jumping around. Is that what you're saying? 
I'm gonna go jumping around. Oh, okay, no, never mind. I thought jumping would be a little bit more exciting or something. All right, it, ooh, it's getting pretty, pretty thick over here. Lots of, lots of cats. All right, um, I'm just gonna stay over here and play shooting, shoot the fit or shoot the cat in the barrel over here. Oh, oh, this thing's overheated. That's why I can't shoot it anymore. Dirt. All right, I need to get. Oh, this guy's drifting too. Another anointed. There we go. Got him. Oh, he, I think he just threw something at me. I'm not sure. It looked like something was behind me. I don't know. Yeah, I think I just... Ryder, the Valiant's sending more cats. Sarissa's almost there. Don't let up. Okay, so... How does this work? Do I trigger the Mass Effect field? Should I do that now? I feel like I don't know if I should do that. Yeah. Enough! The decimation will not be denied. I will take my prey. Ew. Me. Must be the Valiant himself! Take him down! Maybe I shouldn't have pushed... That... I don't. I'm not really sure. <laughs> okay, oh, alright, okay. Uh, oh, whoa! What was that? I feel like I need to get away from you. Okay, I'm spending too much time gawking at things, not enough time to shoot stuff. Well, okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, here we go with the, these. All right, these orbs. Okay, so these guys are kind of a these guys are kind of a pain in the butt. I think I want to go over here with my hammer, and I want to see if I can. Can I? Oh, I don't think I can. Huh? I'm not really sure if I can hammer time that orb. It doesn't seem. Or I've got bad hammer aim. I think I've got. Bad hammer aim. I don't think I'm hammer. Whoa! All right, I probably don't want to do this. All right. Oh, that kills you instantly. All right. I don't probably don't want to do that then, huh? <laughs> I was trying to see if I could hammer the um, the orb. Where? Oh, dude! I start all the way over here. Oh, I have to do go through all of that again. Bummer. Okay, that, I, I won't be a complete moron this time. The mass effect field device is still connected. All right, Remotely so. Triggering it may affect local gravity. So, I'm not sure if Could I should... be useful. Yeah, I'm not sure if I should do this, like, right off the bat, or what the deal, like... Everyone, hang on! I feel like I... I feel like I shouldn't have wasted it. I think, like, the timing that I used it last time... We've got reinforcements! ...was actually pretty decent. I shouldn't have maybe done it right now. I don't know. I know I'm gonna stay way away from the orb dude again, instead of trying to hammer him. That was very, very silly of me. In fact, I'm gonna stay way over here, and I'm gonna bring out my sniper rifle, and just stay over here and have myself a jolly old time here. Alright, let's get these guys. Ooh, this guy's gonna go for a little fly there. Alright, I feel like I'm in a good spot here if I just don't act like a complete moron this time. If. That's a big if. <laughs> oh, there's here's a dude here. Let's go ahead and overload him. Gosh, I wish I could have like one more ability. <laughs> like, cause over, I don't know. I, I I really like using abilities, but overload. I don't know. I like overload, but it's so situational. But I feel like it's almost always useful. So I almost always want to have it. I don't know. I I suck. So whatever. <laughs> All right, so we got a good herd of them. Ryder, the Valiant's sending more cats. Sarissa's almost there. Don't let up. Okay. All right, I think this is where I let out the Mass Effect field, and I think I should have probably saved it for about now. This seems like a good time to use it, honestly. Enough! The decimation will not be denied! I will take my prey! Must be the Valiant himself! Take him down! I mean, we know how Ked are. I feel like even if Sarissa, like, I mean, like, Sar once Sarissa stole that from them, it's like, you know, there wasn't anything that was going to change what the Ked are going to do. I mean, maybe they're a bit more determined to take down... Yeah, maybe they're a bit more, like, inclined to take down the Asari than they would be other populations. Okay, this is the guy. I'm gonna just stay way... Okay, way over here. Oh, that like knocks out all your shields. It's like he he sends it out in a like in an arc in front of him or something. All right, let me try using this thing. See if I can hit it when it comes around. I think I can. I just need to get that orb here. I need to make sure both of them are actually on the orb too. I don't know if they're what the heck they're doing. There we go. All right, so that's done. All right, so now we can just shoot them like crazy. So whatever. <laughs> I think that I think I'm gonna stay way 
over here. I want to stay nice and far, far away from this guy here. I'll go ahead. Oh, he got his orb back out. <laughs> Shut the hell up! What Cora said. Please STFU. Alright, I feel like I ruined this game or gun with that mod, so I'm gonna just switch back to my little sidewinder here. I feel like he, this orb keeps fro- there we go. I, I feel like I'm the only one aiming at it. There we go. <laughs> Alright, I think we got him. There we go. Hooey. Forget capture! Launch everything! Kill the ark! Sarissa! That time he showed up. <laughs> Incoming fire! Oh, are they gonna send everything at us? Oh, great. Shouldn't have let him get off those last orders. Like the Battle of Kirkus, there's still a chance. <sighs> oh. Come on, there's no way she's gonna be able to. Lieutenant, please. What am I? What? What? Oh my gosh, Cora's actually. I guess Cora's biotics are strong enough to help it. Am I? Am I really watching this right now? Cora's throwing herself in here, helping out. Oh my goodness. Oh, they deflected them back, even. Wow. Where was that ability in the last Captain, fight? Captain, get us out of here! Oh, nice. Punching it. Hold on. Just as it explodes, good time to GTFO. <laughs> A skeleton crew, but enough to patch up the Ark. She'll make it to the Nexus. Nice. Whatever it costs. You need to talk to Sarissa about Ashara's message. I wanted to thank you both. That was exemplary work. I'm proud to- Ma'am? Sarissa? We know about Ashara. The log survived. Then her final moments her won't final. be lost. You deserted your Pathfinder. You should be better than- I chose protecting all these people over a single life. Mm -hmm. The choice they train us to make. Lieutenant. Exactly. But you didn't tell anyone. Because then you wouldn't be their shining hero. And maybe that's how it should be. Being a Pathfinder means giving them hope. Ryder, you know this, don't you? We should keep this quiet. The Asari should know. Oh, this is a gross choice. I mean... You know, it's one of those kind of things she, you know, I, I mean, I agree with Sarissa's choice because she, she put the, the, you know, the arc above the life of one person and I would probably make that choice too, but I don't, you know, I, I do agree. I mean, being a Pathfinder means giving them hope. I mean, you know, they've already been through so much. Is it really worth is it really worth... But the... You know, that uh, I don't know how I feel about this. You know, the upper echelon of Asari, as we know from Mass Effect 3, had no problem keeping information about uh, the true nature of Protheans uh, away from the common population. So, you know, I mean, this isn't really beneath the Asari. In fact, this is pretty much... I mean, keeping something like this quiet pretty much I think is in line with Asari values so why don't we keep this one on the down low it's over bringing up what happened won't do any good exactly is that justice is that for you to decide sorry but we need to prep for the Nexus approach we've got a hell of a story for them you should know the Nexus is going to throw you the party of a lifetime. You can raise a glass to the Fallen. And to a better future. Hmm. Come on, Cora. We don't walk an easy road. I hope we both find what we're looking for. Come on, Ryder. We're good here. 
Wow, Korra's whole demeanor changed. The hero worship is over, I think we can safely say that. Glad that the Asari are back and headed to the Nexus, though, but gosh, poor Korra just had her whole ideals of, of the Asari. Hey, yeah, you okay? Can I just do today over again? And not run away from my duty? I put so much faith in Sarissa, but the Asari were just as lost as we are. Exactly what I was saying, her idea of her hero just shattered and that's what happens when you put people up on a pedestal people of any species alien race are just people they're not perfect i expected more from the asari oh i hate expectations expectations are life ruining we're not lost we're not lost we know our mission i think we're finding our way pretty well yeah <laughs> Should have known better than to say that to a Pathfinder. Seriously. <laughs> Thank you for being there, on the Lucinia. Can I tell you something? Sure. The old man was right to choose you as Pathfinder instead. What? I, I don't blaze a trail. I always look for the mentor, their plan. As a Pathfinder, my mistakes would be worse than Sarissa's. Oh, man, and I was just sitting here saying how I think she'd be a better Pathfinder just because she's so good at, you know, working with people. I like you anyway. You've done great things. You're twice the woman she is. Maybe that's not true. Now what? Uh, you know what? Honestly, you're twice the woman Sarissa is. You know, you're so... I like you. You're all right. You've grown on me. I, You're still awkward, but I like you. You're twice the woman Sarissa is. Sarissa? She lied just to stay a hero. You fight, you save lives, and you don't need applause for doing it. Exactly. That isn't... It is true. Deal with it. Uh -huh. Look, neither of us chose this, but maybe we both ended up where we needed to be, even if we lost your father. But it's happened. If you can't outrun it, gotta use it. Mm -hmm. What did you... <laughs> He said something like that once. Still true. I need to think of it, but I'll be okay. And on deck whenever you need me. Oh, I really liked that. K Ryder has earned Korra's loyalty. Korra's rank six skills are not lost. you have pending vid calls. Oh, apparently I have a pending vid call. I think that's from when I was out exploring planets. All right, well, I need to get the little follow-up from Korra here. Uh, let me go ahead and talk to her real quick. Ryder? Oh, maybe not. I thought there'd be a little... Fo like, uh, everyone else had, like, a little follow-up quest. Maybe she's got one more new war story. Any more Commando war stories? That's all I can share, um, anyway. I miss them. Oh, okay, I guess there's not a follow-up See you there. later, Cora. Hmm. I'll be here. Well, that's, uh, you know, I, I wasn't sure what to expect with, um, the Asari arc. I figured, I don't know, I figured they were gonna, I figured something was going to happen to shatter Korra's, you know, idea of the Asari. I wasn't sure exactly what that was going to be, and it wasn't really made evident to, until the end. And even then, honestly, I, I don't know, I don't feel like that's necessarily... I don't know, is that really outrage-worthy? I mean, you know, maybe keeping it to herself, you know, what Sarissa did to herself was kind of on the crummy side, but, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's it's one of those things that I think anyone would have a hard time fessing up to. Like, I feel like if I were in Sarissa's position, I might have... I, I might have just, it might have been one of those, I won't lie about it, but I, I might forget to mention it kind of things. I don't know. I'm, I'm really glad I finally got to get one of those arcs back to the Nexus. I'm kind of excited to see if the Nexus is any different. Um, I'm guessing so. The Nexus has been pretty good about changing every time I do something. But I'm really enjoying the loyalty missions. It's cool to find out more about the uh, people with me, so... I'm gonna work on doing some more loyalty missions, I think, whatever I can do. I've got Vetra's, and 
I think I can do, I think uh, Jaws is probably after this, so I, I've done quite a few of the loyalty missions and I'm, qu I'm enjoying them quite a bit. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching me play Mass Effect Andromeda today. Uh, today. I really do appreciate you guys for watching and I'll see you with another video soon. Bye for now!